you know when you get in times of life where everything's just going fine, just going right along, no big deal, and sometimes you just want a little bit more, you want a little bit deeper. Well, Psalms 42 starts out, As the deer pants for the water, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitude when I went with them to the house of God, when the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan and from the heights of Hermon, from the hill Mazar. Deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls and your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and in the night his song shall be with me. A prayer to the God of my life. This is the sound of a soul crying out for depth of the Lord. The waterfalls is the sound of the Lord calling out to each one of us individually. All the earth cries out his praises. God calls us here throughout his surrounding nature. He beckons us come and sit with him while he tells us, tells us of his love for us. He yearns to draw deeper and deeper into his arms. He yearns to embrace us. You know, I'm convinced that as God was making the world, he spent time contemplating the lessons he would teach through nature itself. I mean, he uses us to teach others. Why wouldn't that be the plan for the rest of his creation? Then the Lord God took man and put him in the Garden of Eden to tend and keep it, it says in Genesis 2. God wanted Adam to learn to watch the surrounding nature and learn the lessons that God had instilled in it. He made the garden. He could have easily made it self-sufficient. And in fact, it was self-sufficient. We don't need to help the plants and trees grow. So why then did God put Adam there to tend and to keep it, if not for the lessons that could be learned from taking part in God's work? Taking part in just helping to tend the garden. So often in scriptures, we see lessons taken from seeds, plants, animals, trees, water, seasons, on and on, all throughout nature, we learn these lessons, the deep things of God. The deep calling to deep is heard through the sound of the waterfalls. You know, so often we put the deep people that we know in the place of the waterfall because we know that we can learn from them. And that's not wrong. But if we do it all the time, we fail to recollect that God said it is better to put trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. So often we look to man for those deep things instead of going to the Lord himself, looking throughout scripture, sitting and being still in the silence of his nature. And when we're still and observant of the work of the Lord, he himself will bring to the remembrance the things we've diligently studied throughout his word. He will bring you the life through his breath of the word in that still small place that only you and the Lord know. When he brings depth to the meaning of scripture in your heart, never again will you look at that scripture as a verse, just a verse in a book, but you will know that God meant it just for you and just for now. You know, we are to study things out and to, to help other people study and to, to ask them for help ourselves, to be iron sharpening iron, but not to negate the true deep teachings that God himself will reveal to us when we go to the scripture and study it out. You know, I just pray today that you are blessed to know that you are truly divinely individual and that it is truly the living word that God will reveal to you for he's the one that calls you deeper and deeper. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters.